everybody i am back with another video it's been a month and a few weeks i've been busy with school i'm so sorry i've kept you guys waiting this is a shopping haul i got two more things coming tomorrow but i didn't want to make y'all wait so i'm gonna show you what i got now i just got the stuff in the mail and then some stuff in stores and all that so without further ado let's get into the video this is unedited start with ulta um first thing is a asian bath fizzy birthday cake it smells so good you see you see the blue things try not oh i touched it and then i have used this twice already i believe yeah, I've used this twice. I have this on my eyes with powder underneath just to cancel the dark circles. If you can see, it's probably peeking through. So, yeah. Um, let me tell you a little story. I went into Ulta to get the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on Saturday because I didn't think online had it. So, I go in. I'm trying to get color match. The woman basically said that they restocked it the morning. But somebody in there came in there and stole every single one of them, including the testers. There's only six or five testers that was left, which were three dark shades and two light shades. But the two light shades were very pinky, and the woman said I have a yellow undertone. So, I'm like, do y'all have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concern? She's like, yes. So, she matched me. What shade is this? Light 2.5 Cream Brulee. Looks like this. I've used this twice. It looks like this. And if you can see the NARS logo. What I don't like about this thing. I love it. I like how it looks on me. One problem I have. I don't know if everybody else has a problem. I have to apply this at least six times underneath my eyes to cancel out the darkness underneath my eyes once I wake up and do my makeup. What I do is I put foundation on. I'll do the the upside down triangle. This where the night the light actually hits is in an upside down triangle. So I did that, and I blend it out with a beauty blender. I bounced it. You're not supposed to rub because it's dragging product. So basically, I had to apply this at least six times just to get it. And the applicator looks like this. That's the only thing I don't like, and the reason why I wanted to touch shade tape because it's full coverage. I only have to do it a few times. That's everything I got from Ulta. This is my Carly Bar palette, the one that I showed before, which I don't know if you can tell. This shade I'm almost out of, and it's a limited edition. Carly Bible is my favorite makeup artist on YouTube, so I had to support it and. I went out and got two more. But what's weird is it came in a different packaging. So basically, what happened is, I get it. I'm swatchy both of them and I compare it to that one. The My palette looks completely different when I swatch them to these. So I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with them. Why is it doing that? Because, I don't know if you know, my palette, this pink highlighter is way brighter in my pan than it is on here. This one I swatched. I don't think you can see. You probably can, but that one's brighter and that one's darker than both of them. So I don't know what's going on with that. Sorry if you hear music. That's my cousin. I just got him a game that just came in the mail, so he's happy about that. So four, I got a point perk, which is the Hangar Too Faced Hangover X Primer. Love this stuff. I got two of them. The other ones in there. I just didn't need to bring two of them out. My favorite palette. I wanted this so bad. So when I got my gift card for Christmas, I got it. And I've used it a few times. It looks like this. I don't like the smell of it. That's one thing I can say is the sweet peach smell is too sweet for me. And these are my nails that I just got done. Yes, they're like very, very long. They look like this. This is the palette. Trying not blind you guys. So it looks like that. 
I don't like the smell at all. It stinks. It's horrendous. And then I went to Walmart and we, I was, what was I doing? I was going grocery shopping and they had these masks that were two for five. They have a whole mask. I need acne masks. So I got two of these, which is the New Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Fighting Paper Mask. I've used this before. I got two of them. And then the biggest thing of all, I just got in the mail, which I'm going to go buy every brush, but I don't know what they're called. Which brush is which, because it doesn't say it's a brush set. It was $40, plus tax was made of 47 because of shipping. It comes with a brush belt. It's for Morphe. I have something coming from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <sighs> so, I'm not going to haul that because it's not for me. But I do have two orders from Sephora coming in. One's coming in tomorrow, which is only one thing and three samples. I'm not going to tell you what that is because I'm going to do a video on it. And then in six or seven days, my next box will come in. There's three items total. I'm probably just going to do a small Sephora haul. But I got that 18-piece brush set, which looks like this. Um, I had to call Morphe Customer Service because the fan brush, I don't know if you can see how it looks. And literally, like, I don't know if you can tell there's hairs coming out of it. So I had to call the people, and the woman picked up. She said, yes, ma'am, how may I help you? I was like, um, I bought... I just got a package from y'all. It's a Morphe brush set. And one of the brushes, which you can see, is all messed up. Um, is messed up. Like, the bristles are hanging off. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. So, she told me she's going to send me an email. Take a picture of the brush. Like, she doesn't believe me. So, I took, so I took the picture of the brush. As y'all can tell, if I do it this way, it's, like, messed up. So, that's the only downfall. I got that, which is a highlighter brush. But you can do it like this. Or down the bridge of the nose. And there's this brush. Which is a big handle. If you don't believe it says Morphe. Morphe right here. It's a big black brush. This could be like a powder brush. Just like this one can be a powder brush. Morphe. This one is an angled brush, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this for contour. Morphe. I'm just showing y'all. This is a small stippling brush, which I would probably use for foundation. Or to blend out my concealer if I don't want to use a beauty blender. This is already used because my mom wanted to use my Nars concealer a while ago before she went to work. So it looks like this. I'll probably use this for concealer. Because I use my beauty blender for foundation. And then I have this brush, which I believe is a eyeshadow shader brush. Morphe, where is it at? Looks like this. This I would use for the crease. Morphe. This one I would use for the lid, because it's flat, as you can see. Morphe. This one is also kind of like a flat brush. I could also use this for the lid. Or the outer V. Then I have this flat one, which would be a really good packing brush. Morphe. Um, this one is a good outer V brush because it's like shaped this way. So to get right in that outer corner. This, I believe, is a lip brush, which looks like this. Very tiny. I'm trying to show you. I'm sorry my face is not in here. It's like that. Morphe. This one also is a lip brush, I believe. Morphe. It looks like this. And the next is an eyeliner brush. As you can see, it's angled. And I don't wear eyeliner, so I would probably use this to clean up my concealer. Mascara wand. Morphe. 
this all we use for eyeliner too is very tiny. Morphe. And then an eyebrow to comb brushes. The comb. And then this brush is like very, very hard. So I probably wouldn't use this. And now I don't know which order these brushes go in. <laughs> Sorry. But that's all that I have to show for you today. This, so my other brushes in my room have like 12 in there. The total brushes I have now is 30. I'm probably going to get another brush set. These are just the ones that came in my Morphe thing. Oh my god. As you can see, it's a lot of brushes. I'm probably going to get another set of 18 or the 31. 30 pack, which is $125, which is gold. So I might get that. I don't know. But I will be doing an upcoming Sephora haul. Just comment down below if you want that or not. I might just do it because I love doing hauls. So this smells so good. But that's all that I have for today. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.